Your Eminence, what is your first impression of, uh, of uh, North, Northern Finland? Uh, first of all, I have to glorify God and thank God because uh, it is my first time to visit this blessed land of Finland. And also I bring the greetings from our Pope and Patriarch Theodoros, who is the Patriarch of the uh, Orthodox Church in the uh, Africa, the Patriarchate of Greek Patriarchate of Alexandria and all Africa, and also I have to thank uh, the Archbishop of Finland together with the Synod, together with the priest and the Orthodox faithful who have uh, invited me to come and be part of this pilgrimage. Uh, first of all, I was amazed with the greenness because I thought that I'm in Africa because trees, trees, but the most amazing is that really a lot of rivers, rivers around. And wherever we have been going, really, it has been really a great blessing uh, to be here in Finland, to meet the people who are joyful. Really, the first impression is that really, uh, I don't know. Really, maybe I have to see it and think. There are a lot of things I want to say much, but it's the well, well, well coming. I'm well, well coming here. Okay. Yes. Uh, your Eminence, what is uh, your first message from the, the Orthodox people in Africa to, to our Finnish people? You know very well, we Orthodox faithful, we call each other brothers and sisters because all of us, uh, our mother is the church, the Orthodox church. Yes. And uh, also we are being born in the same womb, which is the Emvry, which is the baptismal fort. So even though we come from far, we call each other brothers and sisters. The message is the love. Love and also they pray for us in Africa because we are beginning now and the Orthodox really has a bright future. So like, uh, uh, how can I say it? You know, when a soldier goes to, to fight, always there's those who are giving him the, the means how to fight in order to win the war. So for us in Africa, we are asking the Finnish Orthodox faithful to pray for us so that the, the candle which have lit it for the Orthodox so that it can continue burning to, so the light of us. We are asking their prayers first. Thank you, Your Eminence. Yes, yes. Father Evangelos, you are very much involved in, in training young people also for priesthood but also teacher training. Uh, what is the biggest challenge of, uh, of uh, the uh, education in, uh, in, in the Orthodox Church in, in Kenya? Uh, <clears throat> the, the, the Kenyan nation uh, has been, uh, of course, the central place where the, the Orthodox Christians of the entire African continent have been receiving uh, the best of their clergy because this is the main uh, patriarchal seminary uh, and also the center where we have uh, the College of Education and other social sciences. Um, having trained uh, young people in this uh, part of the world, one of the challenges has been um, we are not able to, to offer as much because most of the people are not able to to pay for their school fees and so we rely on other people offering us uh, aid to help uh, offer scholarship to these students and at the same time the school is not as big as uh, would be expected because if it is for the entire African continent then we have more people than we can take. At the same time uh, we would like to, 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 to offer better quality um, and to, to, to grow into becoming a, a university because in Africa most of the of the of the of the other Christian denominations or even religion like Islam and the like have universities the Orthodox Church do not have yet a university and this is um, one of the goals that we would uh, we, we aspire to attain. Um, the Church of Finland has uh, been helping us uh, through the help of sending us expertise uh, towards uh, this enrichment of our, our, our school. And we, we really thank uh, God for the Church of Finland, uh, the diocese as a whole, but especially philanthropy uh, who has, uh, who through the Church of Finland have sent to us uh, Father Rauno, uh, who is really helping us in this, uh, to, uh, towards this goal. And we thank God for this and we pray that uh, this will become a reality sooner than later. Thank you.